Coach is on the road once again, taking you behind the scenes with the MLB stars of the game. And I got the man here for the Chicago Cubs. Ben Brown, pitcher with the Chicago Cubs. Where are you from, Ben? I'm from New York. New York? Yes, sir. Oh, you one big city to another big city. <laughs> yeah, something like that. All right, so we're taking our youngsters behind the scenes of what it's like being a Major League Baseball player. So, you know, when you think about all the thoughts you had of getting to the big league, yeah. when you crossed that threshold and got here, I mean, how different was it from what you expected? It's a huge weight off my shoulders for sure. You know, even when you're in the minors for so long and all the questions that can come through your head. But um, yeah, it's pretty much what I expected and what I dreamed of. They really do it up here and, mm -hmm. you know, they make it all worth it. You know, the whole, the whole grind, it's all worth it once you've been here for sure. Yeah, no more Motel 6 or something. <laughs> no, no, that. Yeah. And, and them long bus rides, all them days over. Yeah, huh? yeah. So, I mean, you know, in that role, that roller yeah. coaster to getting here, I mean, what are some of the highs and lows that you went through? Man, Tommy John surgery, um, COVID was really difficult on a lot of guys, you know, a year off baseball. Um, I had another injury coming back from Tommy John, so it was just, you know, the injuries were hard, the, the lack of pay was really hard, you know, just trying to navigate being a good husband in the minor leagues was difficult as well, like there was a lot of stuff for sure. So who were some of the guys that mentored you along the way? Oh man, I, I could just go on and on. I mean, last year I'm, I'm super thankful for Shane Green, Tyler Duffy. Um, yeah, last year was probably the hardest year yet, honestly, and those dudes really got me through. And um, when I was with the Phillies, I had a really good, really good crew of rehabbers I was rehabbing with when I had my elbow surgery. So yeah, props to those guys for sure. And you know, I used to coach college baseball, scouted for five major league teams. I always told my guys that it's all about getting an opportunity yeah. for the scouts to know you. How did you get yourself on the radar? Um, I basically, my high school coach gave a call to a Mets scout about four games into the season, just begged them to come down and watch <laughs> me pitch. Um, I, I was I was very under recruited and kind of kind of out in the middle of nowhere and. Um, finally got an opportunity to pitch in front of a couple scouts and after that it kind of blew up a little bit but 33rd round it wasn't it wasn't too crazy <laughs> so you got well, you was plugged in other yeah. words yeah no, it, was, it was awesome you use your connections yeah my, my high school coach helped out for sure all right so you ain't forgot about the high school coach no right? i love him to death. Yeah, yeah, every he, christmas he get a present no, and birthday and all that he's my man he just wants okay. a phone call every once in a while he's he's the man i got some guys that played in the big leagues yeah. they don't even call me yeah that's messed up yeah, we, that's we, See, I'm going to tell them, man, tell them, tell them, don't forget the coach. No, okay? Don't forget your coaches, for sure. They're uh, really important. So what is it like being a part of the Chicago Cubs team? You know, this is a historic franchise. It's, it's winning a lot of baseball games right now. That's the most important thing. We're winning and we're having mm -hmm. fun and we're really confident that we can go out there and beat any team in the league. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're confident that we're a good team. And, you know, we just have to bounce back when things get hard, but we're doing a really good job just persevering through some injuries and whatnot. And we're playing the ball really well. So do you pinch yourself like I'm really here? Uh, sometimes, sometimes for sure. It's, it's nice to wake up and go to the field every day for sure. Okay, so let's take those youngsters. Last question. Let's take those youngsters behind the scenes. When you got that call, he was going to the big leagues. What was that like? Yeah, I mean, it was a lot of phone calls I made after that. <laughs> but, uh, it's called one call. I do a lot of calls, but just the rush of that and the, the pure emotions of finally making a new dream coming true. I can't even explain it. It's just something someone would have to live out. But um, I'm sure there's a lot of things in life when you finally reach the pinnacle of your career. It's, it's really cool. Did you cry? <laughs> Not too bad. No, well, he ain't gonna let nobody know he <laughs> cry. Coach on the road with the man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. It's definitely a, an awesome opportunity just again for baseball players to get exposure i mean who would not want to have that you know opportunity to be able to take advantage of that you know say hey your your high school days are over you know maybe you didn't go to college or maybe you played a year or two at college and you still want an opportunity to play baseball uh, this league of your own sounds like a great opportunity for you to be able to invest in yourself